channel. My name's Katie. I am the owner of BG Fitness and this is your Balance with Bells strength and conditioning program. Today is a Friday for me. It's day three of the program. We're going to be doing a body weight and conditioning style workout. We are going to incorporate the six components of an effective workout in today's workout as well. Uh, so there is going to be a bit of technique and also some spice at the end where we are going to be picking up the kettlebell and working on a uh, entry level uh, movement of the swing so we can get swinging that kettlebell and feeling really confident in that. So if you're ready, we're gonna jump right into our movement prep, going through about eight to 10 reps of each exercise. Usually I incorporate about five exercises into our movement prep, get into our CNS connection, then we're gonna do a bit of technique, jump into our main dish, that's gonna be our body weight conditioning. We're gonna get sweaty with our main dish today and then our spice, we're gonna just kind of reinforce that swing pattern cool down with some yoga poses and go and enjoy your weekend. In this workout, take what you need. I'm always gonna guide rep ranges um, and weight, but definitely go with how your body's feeling and what you know is best for you today, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water and then we're gonna get into some traveling beast, mountain climbers with a reach, lateral lunge, hip thrust and leg raises. I'm gonna go through all of it. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's all good. For our traveling beast, you wanna get down on the ground into tabletop position. We're gonna put our toes under, lift our knees about an inch or two off the ground. You're gonna use opposite arm as leg, belly button to spine. Move that opposite arm as leg forward, keeping the hips parallel to the ground and then walk it back. Okay, really good for core activation. Unilateral movement. Strengthening in that shoulder area. If you stay nice and level with the ground, we don't wanna be up here like this. Okay, we wanna be down, trying to hold that tabletop position or that beast position. Breathing through the exercise. Good, keep the tummy tight. Good, to the top. Good job, and come up. All right, shake out those shoulders. We're gonna get down into a uh, mountain, like a mountain climber pose. Uh, and we're just gonna take it nice and slow. We're gonna sit through the movement and just our, allow our body to release all those sticky, sticky spots that we can sometimes feel when we first start our workout, okay? So down into a plank position. Left foot comes forward to the hand. We're gonna shift our weight over to that foot and that hand. Push down your, your knee, your back knee to the ground and just sit in that stretch for a second. Good. Bring this hand to center and we're gonna reach up to the sky, just feeling that nice rotation through the spine. Good. And back down into our plank. And the other side. Good. And just feel free to work through this as it feels good for you. Sit into the stretch or keep it high. Rock back and forth through the shoulders, and then a nice big reach. That spine rotation. Gaze up at the fingertips. Deepen in that stretch if you feel like you can. Good, and reach back down. And back to plank. One more time through guys, I'm not gonna cue you through this one. Just do what feels good, okay? Lower the knee. Switching sides.
Good, back into plank. And stand it up. All right, guys, now we're gonna get into our lateral lunge. Because this is our movement prep, we're just getting warm. I want you guys to take this one step at a time, okay? Uh, I've hurt my hip joint before um, going too deep in these lateral lunges. So just make sure that you only go as deep as you can until you're warm. So we're just gonna start, start small, nice big step out to the side and drive back up, okay? I like to bring my leg up and out and drive through hard. Good, keeping that chest up, drive through, step it out to the side, big push through that glute. Good, this is gonna get us nice and warm for our skaters later, so our knees are all warmed up. Two more. Good, shake it out. All right, now down on our mat into our glute bridge or hip thrust. Okay, hands can be at the hips or down on your mat. It's up to you. We're just pushing these heels into the floor, driving up, activating the glutes, feeling a nice open hip. Inhale at the bottom, exhale at the top. Lower slowly and drive forward. Good, two more. Drive those hips through. This is the same momentum, the same force that you're gonna feel in your kettlebell swing. Good, exhale at the top. Down slow, one more. And slow back down. Good job, okay now just bring your legs in. Pull your knees into the chest, just stretch that out. All right, now we're gonna get into our leg raises. I like to put my hands kind of cushioning on my bum to keep the small of my back or my lower back on the ground. So we're not letting our ribs go and making this curve off of our mat and our lower back when we put our legs out. Cause that's the tendency that we, what we wanna do when our core is not uh, activated and nice and tight. So think about bring, exhaling, bringing that belly button down to the spine, getting rid of that space underneath your mat. And then if you need the extra little assistance with your uh, forearms underneath your bum to hold that position, then that's great. Okay, legs up. We're just gonna do 10 leg raises here. Good job. All right, grab a quick drink and then we're gonna get into our CNS prep. For our CNS connection, this is where we connect our mind with our body, get our heart rate elevated and get focused in and ready to really work our bodies. Explosive type of movement. Today we're gonna to be doing pogo jumps for 30 seconds and then we're gonna get down on the ground into our plank and do some shoulder taps from plank, okay? We're gonna ro th rotate through that two times, all right? So for your pogo jumps, hands can be on your hips or you can use your hands for momentum, whatever you like to do. Uh, you're gonna be up on the balls of your feet, okay? Pushing through the floor and each time we jump, we wanna aim to hit our head on the ceiling above us, all right? If you are in a low, 
ceiling room where you could potentially do that, then maybe don't do these. <laughs> okay, up on the toes of the feet, push through the floor. Nice big jumps. Getting nice and warm. Lots of power here. Good, and rest. Okay, down on the ground, into your plank, doing your shoulder taps. We're gonna do 20 shoulder taps. Bum down, belly button to spine. Let's go. Good stuff, stand it up. Right into your pogo jumps. Stuff. Back down on the ground, into your plank position. Keep those hips parallel with the ground. We're not shifting back and forth. 20 reps, let's go. Okay guys, grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna get into our deadlift drags now. So I'm just gonna demonstrate a few times. Grab a heavier kettlebell. Um, and if this is your very first time ever swinging a kettlebell or you're not used to lifting weights, you could go with a lighter one. Um, but I don't suggest doing body weight for this exercise due to the fact that you need that load to be able to feel the the activation of your glutes and make sure that's coming from the right place. Um, so on day one, we worked your deadlift, kettlebell deadlift. Day two, we did a kettlebell into rack position or a kettlebell dead clean, okay? Today is gonna be a little bit different because we're working on getting ready to actually swing the kettlebell. So with our deadlift, we were standing directly over top of the kettlebell to lift it up. Today, we're gonna to be taking a step back from the kettlebell, about two feet. So we have that space to be able to reach forward for our bell when we get into our ready position. So same principles with our deadlift. We're gonna break at the hips, bend in the knees, load the glutes, load the hamstrings. Today, we're gonna to reach forward towards our bell, okay? So that it's on an angle and it's ready to hike. Okay, so with the, de with the uh, drag, what you're gonna do is try to keep your bum and the small of your back at the same uh, elevation. So when you lift that kettlebell, we're not lifting up like this. Uh, we're just staying exactly where it is. So as soon as that we pull to drag this through our legs, we're gonna feel our glutes activate. And that's what you wanna feel because it's what you're gonna feel when you go into the hike of your swing. Crack at the hips, bend in the knees, load the glutes, load the hamstrings, reach forward on an angle, and then we're just gonna drag the bell between our legs, keeping our glutes and our hips at the same elevation. So pull, take a step back, back into our ready position on an angle, pull it through, good job. And turn around, step back from the bell, reach down on an angle, Squeeze the, the glutes, pull through. Good, big step back. Load and pull. Good, as soon as, you, as soon as you do that drag, you should feel your glutes fire, okay? Turn it around, back from the bell. Crack at the hips, bend the knees, load the glutes, reach forward. Tilt the bell, pull and activate, good. And this is gonna be what you're feeling when you're in your hike, just not as low. Okay, step it back. Ready position, tilt the bell, drag, and feel those glutes fire. I don't know about you, but just after four of those, or six of those, whatever that was, I'm feeling 
the, uh, my glutes are on fire, okay? We're gonna do two more. Crack at the hips, bend the knees, reach forward, hike it back, hips stay steady. Good job. Last one. Good stuff. All right, shake it out, grab a drink, and then we're gonna do that one more time. Just play around with these, all right? Six to eight more reps. I'm gonna cue a little bit less for this round, um, just so that we can kinda get into the momentum of it. All right, so step back from your bell, into ready position, tilt, drag. Okay, ready position, tilt, squeeze the glutes. Good job, shake it out. That's where we're gonna to start to feel the burn, start to sweat. Our mains today, we're gonna to be doing thrusters. You're gonna need a kettlebell for that. Reverse lunge, you can do body weight or weighted. Uh, then jump into your walkouts, which I will demonstrate, and then we're gonna jump into our skaters. So we're gonna do this circuit three times through on a 30 second work. 30 second rest. If you don't know what a thruster is, um, I will show you. Just grab this eight kilo right here. So we're gonna do our deadlift into our clean that we learned uh, on day two. Okay, into rack position. You're squatting down to the ground, driving the bell overhead. Okay, down, drive. Okay, that's your thruster. Your reverse lunge, you're just taking a step back up, down, and up. If you want to do it weighted, rack position, down, up, up. Your walkouts, reach down for the ground, walk it out into plank, and drive back through the shoulders, okay? And then our skaters, nice and low, side to side, okay, using our arms, keeping the core tight, back and forth, 30 seconds, okay? We're here for it, we showed up. Take what you need. If you have to modify before the 30 seconds is over, then modify, maybe drop the weight. If you're doing a thruster, maybe drop the press or drop the squat. The goal is just to keep your body moving, stay activated and work hard. So everybody into that rack position, get your bell up here in three, two, one, let's go. Up, guys drive through the heels nice deep squat good job three more seconds one more rep and rest good 30 seconds rest and then we're gonna get into our reverse lunge as we move through this program we're gonna play a little bit with the work rest ratios today 30 and 30 it's a good place to start Gives you lots of time to breathe. Bring that heart rate back down. Five seconds. Pick up your bell if you're using a bell. Okay. And let's go into your lunge. Rack position.
Good, guys. Core nice and tight. And rest. Nice work. Good, 20 more seconds, grab a drink, and we're gonna move on to our walkouts. It's a really good exercise to get yourself, build some strength for push-ups. Okay, lots of upper body strength here. Okay, 30 seconds, let's go. Hands on the ground, walk it out. Remember to breathe, stand it up at the top. Down, walk it out, push back hard, stand it up. Good. Seven more seconds. Good. Push through one more rep. Good, and rest. Good. Shake it out. You guys are crushing it. Starting to, starting to feel good, starting to feel sweaty. I love this point in the workout where you know you're gonna feel good after. You're gonna feel those endorphins. Starting to feel awake. Five more seconds and we're gonna get into our skaters. Okay, 30 seconds, let's go. Nice and deep, stay low. Good, keep that chest up. Remember to breathe. Good job, stay low. Pick up the pace if you can. Three more seconds and rest. Good. Okay guys, after this 30 second rest, we're gonna take a minute to just bring our heart rate back down, grab a drink, and then get into set number two, or round two, okay? That's a lot of, I find the problem when people are doing certain uh, exercise programs and that kind of thing, is that, all right, we're gonna rest for a minute here. They're not, taking the adequate rest that they need to be able to come back into their set and give it 110%. So you're working, going through your workout, lifting mediocre weights, not as much as you could do. You're not resting. You're not allowing that time for that muscle to recover and come back and basically destroy it again. So um, it's really important to take those rest times, allow yourself to get focused again, and then really push hard during that set and be 100% focused. Okay, I'm gonna reset this timer. Grab your kettlebell. 30 seconds on the clock. These thrusters are gonna burn. All right, 30 seconds. Let's go, rack it up. Down it up. Push through the heels. Keep that kettlebell tight to your chest. Good job, guys. One more rep. Down and up. And rest. Ten more seconds. Okay, rack up the kettlebell, get ready for lunges. And 30 seconds. Down and up, let's go. If you gotta drop the weight and just do body weight, that's okay. Take what you need. Keep that chest up tall. 
core tight and rest. Good job, guys. Okay, 20 more seconds rest, right into our walkouts. Let's grab a drink. In five, two, one, let's go down on the ground. Five more seconds. Two more, last rep. Push hard and rest. Whew. Into our skaters. 10 seconds. You guys got this. Nice and low, keep that core tight. All right, let's go. Push, 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 you're almost there. Stay low, push through those glutes. Five more seconds. Good, and rest. Good job, shake it out. You worked hard for this. Okay, nice minute rest here again. Catch your breath, nice deep breath. Feel that heart rate come back down. The only thing about videoing my workouts for you guys, which I'm really loving, is that I um, don't know how to play music so that you guys can hear me talk and I can listen to music while I work out because if it's copyrighted music, it won't let me upload my video. So I basically, unless I put in headphones and listen to music, but I, I don't know. We'll see, maybe I'll try that one day. Cause I'm sure you guys are all listening to music, having a good time and I'm just here with no music. <laughs> so, but it's okay. 20 more seconds rest. And then we will get into our last set of our main dish. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys are all pumped. After this workout, leave me a comment down below so I can know that you did it with me, how you liked it, give me some feedback, what I could do to make my videos better. Because I am here for you guys. All right, my timer went off. If you're ready, get your bell up in rack position and let's do this. In three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Keep going, five more seconds. All right, and rest. Whew. Five more seconds. Rack up that kettlebell. Get ready for lunges. 
30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Down and up. Nice and soft knee tap at the bottom for that full range of motion. Okay, don't go too wide with your stance. You wanna stay nice and tight. One more rep, drive it up and rest. Good job guys. Get this kettlebell out of the way into our walkouts and skaters. And then we're gonna take a little break while I explain our spice. And then we're done. 10 seconds. Find the edge of your mat. Last set of walkouts in three, two, one. Let's go. Over halfway there, guys. 10 seconds left. In three. One more. Push, push, push. And rest. All right, we got 15 seconds. And then we're jumping into our skaters. We're gonna stay low, push hard. Last exercise here, give it all you got. In three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. Keep that body moving. Find that rhythm, find your pace. Doesn't have to be the same as me. Good, remember to breathe. Stay low. And rest. Awesome job. Big high five. We killed it. We're gonna rest here for 30 seconds and then grab a drink and I will explain the spice to you guys. Um, all right, kettlebell swing into reset. A Little bit of spice, we have two sets here. We just did the dregs, right? So same setup. Crack at the hips, bend in your knees, load the glutes, reach forward, you're setting up. Okay, same, same. Then what you're gonna do for your kettlebell uh, swing with a reset, so I'm gonna show you without the bell first. You're gonna hike the bell between your legs, nice and tight. You're gonna drive those hips forward, allowing the force of your hips to let the bell come up, okay? It's gonna float right here somewhere, depending on how much force you um, put into those hips. It's gonna force the kettlebell up. Our arms are only extensions of our body, of our shoulders, okay? So we're not, we're not lifting it and holding it there. It's gonna float up. You're gonna feel it be weightless for a second. Once gravity catches that bell and brings it back down, you're gonna be patient and catch at the bottom and then into your reset. So we're not, what I mean by reset is we're not gonna do continuous swings over and over because if you don't have the form down yet, it can get a little bit messy. So we're gonna just do one swing, reset, two swings, reset, one swing, reset. So let me demonstrate and then you guys can jump right in. Or if you feel ready, you go. Whatever feels good for you, okay? So, ready position, hike, thrust, catch, reset. One, two, reset. Catch, swing, reset. One, two, reset, okay? Crack at the hips, bend the knees, load the glutes, hike it back, thrust forward, and reset. Okay, number two, 
hike it back, hip drive, hip drive, and reset. Okay, back to one, hike it back, hip drive, rest, and two in a row, hike it back, hip drive, and rest. If you want one more set, pause the video and do a couple more sets through. Next week, we're really gonna jump into swinging the kettlebell continuously, all that good stuff, and moving into variations of the swing, using one arm, switch swings, all that stuff. We are starting at the very basics. We're gonna work our way through this 12 weeks, and then at the end of the 12 weeks, we are all gonna be super confident in all of your basic kettlebell movements that makes them so unique. We are gonna just get into a cool down and then you can get on with your day. So just have a couple of yoga poses that I wanna try. Again, I'm not a yoga instructor, but I love finishing my workout with just a couple different poses. Uh, it just makes me feel good, makes me relax, focus on my breathing. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, if you have any feedback or tips for me through these poses, uh, definitely let me know. Um, so I wanted to try a dolphin and downward dog today. So I'm gonna get into my downward dog, down into tabletop. You're just gonna bring the knees up, drive the hips up, and sit back into the shoulders. And I just wanna push through my heels back and forth, moving the hips, getting a nice big stretch through that posterior chain. It feels so good. And then rocking through the shoulders. Just a nice dynamic stretch here. Feels so good. All right, and then into our dolphin. Our dolphin is gonna be bringing our elbows down from this pose. So you're just gonna set your elbows on the ground. I don't know if you put your head on the ground or not, but, and then just rocking through the shoulders, feeling that stretch. Good. And then put your knees down. Down into child's pose. Nice big reach here. Just take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Extend that exhale. Let the belly just fall to the floor. Good, feel the shoulders release. Sink in deeper, stretch those arms more forward, getting a nice pull through the lats. One more deep breath together, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good job. Pick yourself up off your mat. If you would like to do any independent stretching on your own, feel free. I'm gonna let you guys go here and go have a great weekend. Think about, leave your mat today thinking about what you're grateful for. Be proud of yourself for showing up today and working hard with me. Um, next week is gonna get a bit more challenging and that's what it's all about. So rest up, treat your bodies right over the weekend and I will see you on Monday.